In the previous video, we investigated if the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix is 0, then it would map all points onto a line going through the origin. Okay? And we saw that for a specific example, and this is the case in general. Okay? So, in this problem, we're kind of continuing this on, uh, but just looking at another matrix. So, explain why the matrix M maps all points x, y onto a line through the origin. Right, so we're going to look at the determinant of the matrix M, which is minus 8 times 6 take away minus 4 times 12. So we've got negative 48 take away negative 48, which is 0. Therefore, matrix M uh, will map all points x, y onto a line passing through the origin. So now we need to find the equation of this line. Now what I'll do first is I'll show you kind of like a, a, a more general approach to this. Okay, and then I'm going to show you like a little shortcut. So you'd want to apply minus 8, minus 4, 12, 6, the matrix M, to a general pair of coordinates x, y. So minus 8, minus 4, multiply with the x, y, so minus 8x, minus 4y, and 12, 6, multiply with the x, y, so 12x plus 6y. Now what we'd want to do here is if we can then... Uh, have the 12x plus 6y as the y-coordinate, and then some multiple of the 12x plus 6y as the x-coordinate. So we've got this missing value here that I am interested in. Okay. Now, in order to find that, I just need to find whatever would multiply with 12 to make minus 8. So 12 k is equal to negative 8, so k would have to be negative 8 over 12, which is equal to, of course, uh, minus 2 thirds. So what you can see here is that the y-coordinate is negative 3 halves of the x-coordinate. OK, because I would need to multiply this by negative 3 halves to get to the 12x plus 6y. So the equation of the line is y is equal to minus 3 halves x. OK, not two th minus 2 thirds x, minus 3 halves x, because that's what I'd need to multiply that to get to that. y is equal to minus 3 halves of x. So that is the equation of the line. Now, I said you could do this in a kind of like a simpler way, a little neat trick. If you just chose a coordinate, because you already know it's going through the origin. So if we just choose another coordinate that's not going through the origin, let's say like 1, 1. So if we applied the matrix M to 1, 1, what would we get? Well, minus 8 minus 4 multiplying with the 1, 1 would be minus 12. And 12, 6 multiplied with the 1, 1 would get me 18. So I know that the coordinate 1, 1 would be mapped to minus 12, 18. Now, for a line, I only need to know two points that it goes through. I know one, it's the origin. The other point is minus 12, 18. So it's a line that is going through the origin, 0, 0, and the coordinate minus 12, 18. So 18, 12. So the gradient of that line will be negative 18 over 12. So y is equal to negative 18 over 12x. And negative 18 over 12 simplifies down to minus 3 halves. OK? And you probably expect you'll probably find that an easier method than spotting this reciprocal uh, that we've had to deal with here.